What's up, family? How you guys doing today? I'm here with Milky Tech, and today we are upgrading my camera gear. We're going from an old stock T3i, and we're going to make it awesome. And guys, stay tuned to the end. We have an awesome giveaway. You guys would want to miss this. Now, let's get this done. So, the reason why I'm trying to upgrade my camera gear is I'm trying to get better quality YouTube videos, and I do real estate photography on the side, and I'm trying to get better uh, pictures and video quality. I need a wider angle lens and I need better lighting. After doing a lot of research, these are the upgrades that I chose. So let's check them out. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, subscribe. And don't forget, all links will be in the description below. So the lens that I chose to go with is a Tokina ATXI, the 11 to 20 millimeter F2.8 aperture lens the reason why i chose this lens is because it is an ultra wide angle lens and so when you're trying to get a picture of a very small room and you don't have that much space you want the lens to be able to capture as close to it as possible so you'll have a wider scene and make the room look more spacious and you can see more of the room it's like looking at the room with both eyes if you close one eye you really only get half of the image open both eyes you get the full image this lens goes down to only 18 millimeters and that's just not enough this one over here goes down to 11 and i'm excited to use it so let's unbox it and there's no tape Woohoo! All right, so first thing we are greeted with is our user manual and some warranty information. Pop the top off, and whoo, this boy is heavy. And this is the lens. This is a heavy lens. Compared to this, this is like a toy. So this lens has manual focus and autofocus. It's just a, a simple lever that you just pull down. And now you're in manual focus. And you push up, and now you're in autofocus. I prefer the... Just a little tab over here. I don't know why they could have went with that, but that's all right. And here's our toggle to toggle between 11 millimeters to 14, 16, 18, all the way up to 20. And this is how the lens looks like. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you the advantages and the disadvantages of using this lens. All right, guys. So we're going to test the lens in uh, several different ways. The first test, we'll test the Tokaina lens against the Canon lens at the lowest settings, which will be 11 millimeter and 18 millimeter, respectively. Our next test, we'll test them at a comparable setting at 20 millimeters, and then we'll test them at their highest settings. So it'll be for the Tokaina, will be at 20 millimeters, and for the Canon, it will be at 55 millimeters, and then we'll do a kind of a best case scenario for real estate. Comparing the camera's performance in a corner, trying to see which lens had the best maximum view. Overall, these two lenses are really two different use lenses. The Tokina lens at the same uh, settings performs a little bit better. It's a little bit sharper in my opinion. If you are trying to get the widest angle, you want to go for the Tokina lens. But if you're trying to focus more on the subject, you want to go for the Canon lens. So the next item on our upgrade list is a remote control for the camera. This is the Veltrox YJ120 wireless remote controller. The reason why I chose this wireless controller over a infrared controller is because an infrared controller, you need to have direct line of sight for it to work. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. And when trying to take pictures in a tight confined area using an ultra wide lens, you might get caught in the picture and that's something I don't want to have to deal with. And having this, I could set the camera up in the correct location, walk out, take a picture and get done with it. It will save time. All right, let's open it up. All right. This has tape, but haha, avoid it. So first thing we have is a cord that connects from the camera to the controller. You just pop the little thing over here. Pop that in here, boom, we're connected. User manual, and our controller and our remote. The wire just connects here to the controller receiver. Click here. Attach it over here to the top of the camera. You're gonna need to have batteries. It fits one AAA batteries. And they put a desk kit in where the battery's supposed to be. The next item on our upgrade list is a high-powered flash. The one that I chose to go with is the Godox 8200 Pro with this controller, the 2XT. 
you see a little bit more things over here. I opted to go for a bundled package on Amazon. Links will be in the description below for everything. The reason why I chose to go with the bundle is because it was cheaper and you got other things with it. Let's unbox the flash first. Oof, this guy's heavy. Haha, <laughs> no tape. So the first thing that we see when we open up the box is a QC pass card, a quality control pass card. This helps reassure me that this product is of very high quality. We have an accessory guide, so if you want to buy more things from them. All right, next thing we have is a warranty card and our user manual. Now we have our product, which comes in its own carrying case. That's a nice touch. So first thing we have is our mount that mounts the flash to a tripod. Next thing we have is our, our battery charger and the cord for it and the battery. So the next thing we have here is a bare bulb with where it attaches to. And the flash head on the unit, which I'm gonna show you soon, can be interchanged for this. So you have different types of attachments, which comes in the kit, which we'll go over in a bit, which allows for different type of flash photography. Okay, let's just uh, connect everything together. And this big boy, oh, our flash. Let's go over it. So on the top is we have our flash with a, with its pre-attached bulb, which easily can be popped out. On the bottom is where we attach our tripod mount. On the back here is where we have our screen and we'll, with all our information about the flash power levels and everything and our option settings. On the other side is where we put our battery and input output panel. So let's go over the things that comes with the kit. On this box we have the Godox barn door flash and color filters. And over here we have different colored filters. So we have a red filter, we got green, yellow, and blue. It attaches like that. It's magnetic. It's all a high quality steel. Finally a standard reflector by Godox. So this is just an attachment for this flash. So the next thing on our list is this flash controller. Can't use this without this. And the one that I chose to go with is the Godox uh, X2T. Let's open it up. We have another QC pass card, warranty card, and a user manual. And now finally for the controller. On the back we have our screen, which will tell you all the information about the flash settings and all the settings that you have in your camera. Plus we have our menus, you know, to set things. On the top we have another attachment slot. So if you have like a microphone or another controller that you want to put on the top, you can do that. We have our setting buttons over here and a flash button. On the side we have our input output with USB Type-C. I like to see that. On the bottom does not come with batteries, but you will need two AA batteries. I wish it was rechargeable. Here's our camera mount and a toggle dial. What I like about this, it connects wirelessly to the camera. So I'm going to slide that in here. Press the button and it locks. And the camera has just became a battle cruiser. This is pretty cool. It's heavy. Alright guys, the last thing on our upgrade list is a new lighting kit. Um, the current lightning kit I have is a reflective one, but this one here is the umbrella setup. So let's open it up. So the first thing we have is our user manual with a little attention warning us that the fluorescent bulbs are fragile and they could be damaged during shipping. So just, you know, hit them up and they should be able to take care of us if there's any damages. So we got a couple of carry-in pouches over here to carry our gear, that's awesome. Some Velcro straps, four umbrellas, two white, two black, and a whole bunch of unknown boxes. Let's get to opening them up. And in this first box, we have a bulb. In our next box, looks like another bulb. This kit is awesome because it comes with three bulbs. We have three single head sockets. In this box, we have tripod. And in the next two boxes, we have two more tripods. This kit comes with two long tripods and one short tripod. So you get the perfect lighting every single time. So let's compare and contrast 
my current lighting setup to the new lighting setup. I'll be right back. So this is how the new lighting setup looks like. I had to opt out of using their provided bulbs because the bulbs that I have are more powerful and they seem to provide a better lighting experience than the bulbs that they provided. So that is something to consider. Overall, I think a combination of using the umbrella lights and the reflective uh, lights will be more optimal. Overall, I think it's a little bit too dark in the room, but on the camera display, it looks just fine. So we will see in editing. So let me know guys, which lighting setup do you prefer? The previous one or the current one right now with the new lighting setup. And I'll continue the rest of the video with the new lighting setup. Overall, I am impressed with this upgrade that I've gotten to my gear. I'm looking forward to using it in the future and hopefully produce better photography and videography. And now to our giveaway. In the season of giving, drum roll please, I am giving out a... $100 gift card. In order to qualify for this giveaway, I need you guys to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, of course a non-offensive comment, go to my Instagram, like it, link for my Instagram will be in the description below, like my Instagram, leave a comment tagging four of your friends, and that will enter you into this giveaway. So don't forget guys, to share this with your friends, families, you know, whoever you like, dislike, and I'll be choosing a winner next week. May the odds be in your favor. If you guys like this video, smash that like button, hit subscribe, ring that bell so you get notified when I release my next video. I'm going to wave this in you guys' faces. Um, <laughs> if you guys have a comment, suggestion, or want to say hello, leave it in the comments below. If you guys have any ideas for me to upgrade my camera gear, also, Leave it in the description below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.